everybody. This is Layla coming to you from Work with Toby and Layla. Toby, and Toby. Toby is here as well. As we promised, today we are going to take an article and insert it into the automatic article submitter and show you guys how to spin it, how to submit it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is choose a pen name. So we're going to go with Toby Black since he wrote this fantastic new article. And so you choose the pen name that you've art, that we set up yesterday, and then you go to My Articles. And then you click right here, Add and Edit uh, Articles. So we click this button, comes up with a list of articles, and you hit this little plus button. And the plus button will bring up a, a, an empty draft here, and you just double click it, everything comes up. So you take the article that you've written, here we have Toby's article, and you just simply paste it in. Which is, we did do spell check also. Yeah, we've already done spell check, <laughs> already already fixed it up. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is actually, what well, I'll show you guys right away, um, how, to, how to spin a sentence. We usually take little bits of the sentence, and so you highlight it, click up in this text. Spinning means, explain what's Yes, yeah, spinning means that you're basically rewriting the sentence various times with different words so that when the article submits... Does its magic. Yeah, when the article submitter submits all these articles to 200 different sites, it's using variations of each sentence that you've already uh, added into the program. So for the first sentence, now this article is not for the faint of heart. So you highlight it click up here it'll show up and then you just you simply type underneath it so another way that we could say this is what do you think Toby don't take this content lightly take this content lightly okay so that's one alter alteration and then here we'll do just hit uh, enter go to another space uh, do not read article if do not read the article if you have a queasy stomach you we like to put a lot of uh, a lot of our own personality in our articles um, so and you should too definitely you want your personality to come through in them you want them to sound like you're talking directly to the person that's reading them yeah, so what I'm going to do is go through, I'm going to pause this, we're going to spin the whole article, and then we're going to come back and show you the final product uh, project. You'll notice that this little line here, that is the break in the sentence. So when the article submitter does its uh, magic, obviously these will all be different. So just pointing out what those little breaks means, that's uh, what's going to happen when it submits. Okay guys, so now that the article is spun and all the sentences are rewritten uh, a few times, the next step that you want to do, first thing I wanted to talk about was the titles. So you do the titles pretty much exactly the same as you would spin a sentence. You want to have some alternate titles um, that catch people's attention. Now the one thing that you want to remember, and I wanted to show you guys this because I made this mistake uh, before, and if your title is too long and say uh, it goes into the next line onto the uh, into this box here then you're gonna get every time you go into another line you're gonna get one of these lines pop up and that's gonna break your uh, sentence up because basically what happens is from this little squiggly to this little squiggly is the sentences that they're going to use and then this breaks up what sentences they're going to alternate <laughs> so when you're doing your titles it's very important that you remember if your title goes on to the next line you have to go in here and delete the little the little line so that your titles are appropriate so you want to get your titles in um, usually three to four five however many you want um, and then get your keywords in do a quick article summary with your keywords, of course, um, that you're trying to rank for, and spin the article. Now, one thing that you want to check 
and I'll show you guys over here, I did it beforehand so it would be already done, is this duplicate content feature. So you can re-spin the article and it just mixes up all the words that you had designated and you hit compare. So your ideal number is right around 50%. You don't want anything higher than 50% um, for duplicate content. So we're at 49, we're good to go. So what I wanted to do is just check a couple uh, keywords. It shows you exactly how many keywords you have. And that looks good. Everything looks good. Um, last thing, last but not least, this is the most important part of your article, is your signature box. So we were doing signature boxes um, talking in third person. So we were saying Toby and Layla, uh, love to help people explode their MLM businesses, but we weren't getting a lot of click through. So what we decided to do, what we actually read, um, was to keep it a continuation of your article. So here we're talking about uh, you do not need to commit MLM suicide just yet. You don't need to jump off the MLM cliff yet. And then we continue it on. So to learn how to market your MLM business successfully and profit from the 90% of people that say no, click here. So what we do is we pick, we're going to pick MLM business successfully, market your MLM business successfully, and that is going to link people back to our blog article, so where this is posted on our blog. So what you do is you highlight it, insert link, so we want to send this to workwithtobyandlayla.com forward slash MLM home business success and the anchor text is market your MLM business successfully okay so there you can see it enters it for us and also another tip that we suggest is actually putting the entire uh, web address what we do is we send them also to our capture pages. But you get some some article directories don't allow you to have clickable links. So if ever you don't have a clickable link, you want to make sure that you at least have your link there. So your millionaire MLM training .com. Now, if you guys have any other questions about spinning the article, how it works, uh, just let us know. As I said, you want to always double check because if your sentences did go over the uh, capacity here, then you're going to have extra little red lines in there and you don't want it to break up your sentences incorrectly. You want to make sure that everything is going to be grammatically correct. So what we do, we're all done with this. We're going to save. 